Hello and welcome to the Practical Animal channel. This video is for naturalists and if you're interested in spiders and spiders anatomy. I'm going to make this video on the body parts of a spider. Uh, there are two major groups of spiders. One is called the Aranimorphs and the other is called the Mygalomorphs. What basically that means is that Aranimorphs, if you imagine the front of the animal's body, body is here, Aranimorphs have fangs that cross over like that, and the Mygalomorphs, or commonly referred to as tarantulas, have fangs that cross down like this. Here's a tarantula spider that unfortunately did not make itself did not make it out of the molt. Here's the molted skin, a fascinating object in its own right, because it's a mirror image, almost, of the spider. The most interesting part of this, of course, is the fangs. You can just see the fangs right there. This tarantula was probably a third grown when it unfortunately died in its molt due to a cold snap one night. So there are the fangs, one, two. And as you can see, the molted, the molted skin is very similar to the tarantula that emerged from it. This tarantula died soon after emerging from its molt. And all I wanted to do was identify for you some bo basic body parts of the spider. Because when I was a youth, I was fascinated by this stuff. Two basic body parts, characteristic of all arachnids. The first body part at the front is the cephalothorax. The part at the back is the abdomen, or opistosoma. Spiders have two forms of defence, defensive behaviour. The first defensive form of behaviour is that the spider, a tarantula spider, will flick these very prominent hairs that are on the abdomen at the perceived attacker. They contain a very mild toxin and they can be quite an irritant. The second form of defence, as probably everybody knows, is that the spider bites with its fangs. Two needles going into your skin. Ouch. Turning the spider over, I can more clearly demonstrate the body, the leg segments. So, as clearly as I can, very close to the cephalothorax, the, the body part, all the legs, all the limbs come from the front, from, come from the front part of the body. So you've got the coxa, trochanter, the femur, is a very thick body is a very thick part of the leg similar in that respect to humans really there's the femur pointing out there left hand forcep left hand tweezer that's the femur there the patella can be likened to the knee the kneecap here's the tibia metatarsus and tarsus is the final leg segment. So there we have it. Basic body parts of the spider, opus the zoma, cephalothorax, and the body segments that I've just mentioned. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it informative. For more exclusive content on animals, natural history, nature, wildlife, and the animal industry, please subscribe. And if you liked this video, please like it. I'm John Beaumont and thank you very much for watching. The next video is going to be about canism or the attacking behaviour of bird of prey chicks in the nest. Thank you very much.